Welcome to this video about the LEGO Mac Anthem trailer. Um, I've been doing a lot of playing with this uh, particular trailer and I'm pleased to announce that I've finally got it working. Um, it has four L motors sat within it. There are two sat down here underneath the container and these motors operate the, uh, the lift mechanism um, and uh, do quite a decent job at that, they're very nice and compact in that. And if I come round the back here, tucked in behind those panels there are two more L motors and the yellow shaft you can see there comes back out here up through this gearing mechanism and operates the outriggers. As you can see the battery box is set up here on the gooseneck um, and as you see we're all powered up. There is an S brick down here, um, and I've opted to change from the, the green sign panels to these blue ones because I've got plenty of the blue ones and I only have two of the greens. But what makes this special, you may ask? Well, this is an S brick, so I realised that I could do sequences with an S brick. So down here on my phone, I've stolen my partner's phone, um, we see the Mac Anthem and the remote control profile. And we have just two buttons. So I'm going to tell it to unload the container. And the container works quite nicely. As you see, we've only got 70 cent battery. So uh, I'm going to have to give it a hand on the way back up. But this will come down quite nicely. So here we go. So my hands here. I'm not doing nothing. It's just a mermaid. So deploy the outriggers. You may have heard the click there as they lock down into place, and it has deployed the whole kit and caboodle. And that is it, done. So you can see the yellow has gone off now on the heat brake app. Um, if I want it to pick them back up again, I'll just change hands here. Um, I hit load. Now I'm going to have to give it a little bit of a hand here because as if the battery's a little bit knackered. And that's it. Yeah, then it's gone back off again. Very quick, very simple, just beautiful. Now I'm pretty sure I can tweak that uh, um, profile to uh, be a little bit more linear, so I can have it doing the two motors at once at some points to try and reduce the uh, the centre of gravity. Um, but uh, for the time being, that's your lot. Some more information, if anybody's interested in doing this particular motorisation. There are four L motors within this uh, set now, uh, for the trailer. There's an s brick, as you can see, just tucked down here. And we've got a great big tangle of wiring hidden behind these, these blue panels. And obviously they're originally green, but uh, I've, I've actually tucked two on the other side and I didn't have another, another one of the green ones. So we've gone blue in this particular instance. Um, as you can see underneath the container, two L motors set. Uh, in the original configuration, there was a hand of God, so there was two gears right at the back here. So one here, which did the uh, bottom arm, and one up here, which did the top arm. Now we've we've changed things around a little bit. This motor here now drives uh, the, the the axle, which would have would have uh, driven the top arm, which is this this one here, um, and instead now drives comes back down this set of gears and back through onto this one here which is obviously the uh, the bottom arm. So this is a bottom arm motor and then the top arm motor, as you can see we're offset by one stud, we're running back down this set of gears trying to keep as original as possible here and uh, then that, that lifts the top arms. So it's really nice and simple. Um, and I will uh, leave it there and I'll just uh, pick up again and I want to turn this around. So this is the other side of the uh, trailer. Uh, this is the, the, what I think is the, uh, the off side, I'd say, because obviously the, the trailer loads the container on the near side. Um, as you can see, two more L motors tucked away down here. Now, I quite possibly could have got away with just one um, and done something else for another channel, but this worked and I've spent so long trying to get this stuff uh, tucked away. Anyway, the motors drive these uh, axles 
and uh, this, this gear chain and it goes up there and then there's a 1 to 1.67 redu uh, gear reduction which increases the amount of torque and that drives these legs here um, let's see the rear one was a little bit more tricky and um, you see I've added that uh, I beam there just to try and stiffen things up a little bit and we've got a, a stiffer as uh, a setup as I can possibly manage. I was having problems with long axles, so I've used these little short axles and joiners because they've got a bit more rigidity to them. Um, that goes up similar gearing reduction um, and uh, drives the rear arm. It's very, very simple once I've actually got it together. And then uh, it's hidden behind these two little bits of plate. So that's how I did the other half.